are on our way to the um, stone quarry. They're not open today, but they have like samples of stones outside of their office. So we are going to go look at the different um, stones to see what we want. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Um, the last time I went and got stone, <laughs> some of you had never seen it and said it looked like bedrock. Here are the different um, kinds of stone. There's some small up there, some packing stone. So this is what we're thinking for the dry creek bed. And I've had a bunch of you ask what we're putting around the house so that the mud doesn't flip up. I think this is what we're using. This is number four gravel. So we'll have um, the guy drop it off tomorrow or Tuesday. I think he said he's going to. And then Deb will use a skid loader to take it around. As you can see, this is number eight. It goes down in size. Um, this 11F is the packing stone that we use for our paths. So we're going to have them deliver some of this too. And as you can see, it's got like a lot of sand in it. So it packs a little bit better. Is that what you think, Deb? 11F. And then I think this is what we have in our driveway. I think. Um, and then I'll just show you this. This is the pea gravel. It's what we have around our campfire. It does not pack. It's just more like round little pebbles. So those are the differences in case anybody cares. I had a couple of requests to show our meals again because I kind of stopped doing it. Um, this is going to go off. We are having today salmon in the air fryer. And I'll tell you how to do that here in one second. And then we did um, yellow squash zucchini with butter, um, lemon zest, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and cayenne. So that's and the salmon was olive oil on both sides, dill, paprika, salt, and pepper. And then go ahead. And then we put it in for uh, seven minutes, maybe on 400. These are to die for. Get this cleaned up. This is back here we moved all of this last year or two years ago i think um but this is that fountain and then that little girl right there that little cherub we want to put back here and i think deb's going to move that now to, okay it's going to go put that right there to get it out of the way and then i think we're going to place those concrete urns there maybe up by the porch swing and we might, these are old. Hope there are no snakes. These are old um, blocks from like a foundation from a house that we use to raise things up. I was bound and determined to get this all done today. We'll see. She's gonna haul in dirt. She's going to till this and this. We're going to plant our shrubs that we have and then she's going to plant grass and then our stone comes tomorrow which we'll haul in here so wish us luck i'll maybe i'll set up a camera few stories um well several so I'll share in a little bit but Deb is finishing I think she's tilling another spot I think that's yeah that's what she's doing she's tilling one more spot and then she's going to take the tractor back it is so hot and humid out I just ugh. it was miserable anyways she's doing that and I'm going to quick cook dinner and I'll show you what I'm making we are having, I'm going to make chicken breasts and then I'll show you um, in a little bit what we do with them. But I just put a little bit of olive oil. You don't have to, but I do a um, little bit on both sides, salt, pepper, and pepper. And then into the air fryer, I warmed it up just a little bit. You don't have to do that either, but I do. And then I will cook these for several minutes and then flip them in the air fryer. I had several people ask what air fryer this is. This is, um, we've had this one. 
and it's discontinued. They kind of made a better model, a little bit bigger and a better model. So I will link it. I just looked and it's only 60 bucks. They're excellent. Then I'm gonna cut up some romaine. Jeff and I are a um, clean wash dishes as we go. So I quick wash, wash some of the dishes that I've already used. You guys do that, wash dishes as you go. That way it's not so bad. Um, so we're each going to have a plate of romaine and then the chicken, and I will show you um, what we put on it. This is so delicious. This recipe involves these little pa I am clumsy today. <laughs> these little packets of guacamole, or you can make your own, but these are easy, so we just have these on hand. And normally we grill the chicken, but like on the grill, it is just so hot. I can't, I can't stand it. And I know Deb's not going to want to stand out there and grill, so I just said I'm going to throw in the air fryer. So, um, this is what it looks like after seven minutes. So, I'm going to flip this and cook it just a little bit more, probably about maybe four more minutes. And I'm going to season this side. So finished, we had leftover black beans. So, it's black beans, romaine, chicken in the air fryer, pico de gallo and um, sour cream. Oh, and then that guacamole. It's so good.